Hello, good evening, and welcome to Lima Senior High School, where tonight on WOSN, we've got a great non-conference matchup between the homestanding Lima Senior Spartans and the visiting Ottawa Glendorf Titans. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Scott Mag, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Senior High. And Scott, two different uh, basketball squads on different trajectories at this point. Uh, Ottawa Glendorf winners of six in a row. Senior High coming off a loss last night, but would like to get back in the win column tonight. Yeah, absolutely. But you can throw the records out this game. Both teams really want this one. This is a kind of a, a close rivalry that each team yeah. kind of want to put that in their back pocket. It's something they build on. They, this is like a springboard to get you to the tournament time. This is a big win. It's going to be a heck of an environment in here. We've noticed that from the yeah, JV yes. game. So I'm expecting uh, a lot of excitement here tonight. Now, when you take a look at the keys to the game, uh, what stands out to you that each side needs to accomplish tonight to, to grab a W? So we got three keys. One, the first one's pressure. Both teams want to pressure. Uh, OG does it a little bit differently. They do a 2-2-1 a press, sometimes man-to-man. -man. Sometimes they trap. Lima Senior is full court man in your face. They want to up, they do that to increase the tempo. I think whatever team allows to get their pressure and to get some of their pressure allows to easy baskets runouts is going to be a winner tonight. Second key is shot selection. Now, you know, you get pressured all around. That also speeds you up. Sometimes you take bad shots. And the reason for that is because you don't want to get trapped or you don't want to, that pressure. You're just going to shoot it. Mm -hmm. And shot selection is going to be key. The team that takes the best shots I think it's going to come away with the win, too. And then last but not least is defense, right? Pressure, 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 but sometimes that pressure breaks down. So defensively, can you make the adjustments? Can you rotate up and pick up someone that's not normally your guy? Can you take the charge for somebody to come down the lane? Defensively, I think, is key. I think defense wins this game tonight. That's a look at our keys to the game. We'll step aside, come back for this non-conference matchup. It's Ottawa Glendorf and Lima Senior next here on WOSN. Back here at Lima Senior High School, where we're getting sent for this varsity contest. Had a, a spectacular atmosphere to start the varsity contest in the JV game. We had a game-winning shot from Ottawa Glandorf, and then realized the scoreboard didn't match the scorebook. So we had to get the players back out of the locker room, the referees back out of the locker room, play an extra overtime period where Lima Senior was victorious. So we got an electric atmosphere in here tonight. And tonight's scoreboard, before we get started, is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor the Ohio distributor of Structure Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, seamless spouting. And getting set here as we introduce you to the starting lineups between the Ottawa Glandorf Titans and the Lima Senior Spartans. You see Ottawa Glandorf 10 and two out to an early start and already here in mid-January, halfway through the season and undefeated out of the Western Buckeye League. The starting five, you see there Caden Erford, Colin White, Theo Mag, Grant Schrader, and Hunter Steck Schulte. Three Titans in double figures in their scoring averages. And then for senior high, five and four on the season. Coming off a loss last night to the Finley Trojans. That's Quincy Simpson, the head coach of the Spartans in his ninth season. And you see their starting five, slightly different from last night. Jagger Hutchins, the six foot seven sophomore, interjected into the starting lineup. And the Spartans will try to get Going back offensively, Anthony Mosley, number zero, a player to watch. He'll anchor things down low for senior high. So we get set to tip here. As you see, the officials tonight got a good crew here at senior high as we're getting set for this non-conference matchup. And two very good basketball programs, Scott, and two very kind of knowledgeable fan bases that can will somebody to a to a, a run here or there and, and, and can feel when a, when a run's about to happen. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that also, th that helps feed the, the effort, the, the pressure, as we talked about in the pregame. You know, pressure was key number one. And when you got the fans cheering and hollering, you got some kids dressed up in uh, construction gear. Yeah. You got the, you got uh, Lima seniors, they're all the way to the top. All the way to the top. I mean, there's there's kids in here. And, and that's what high school sports is. It's not, it's not for, you know, the moms and dads it's for the the school and and showing their school spirit it's good to see and, and good thing and you know that's why uh, high school athletics there's no other uh, around that can compare to the excitement and what good things that it does for the school population and then you see uh, the just the crowd tonight it's almost a district final s crowd where you've got spectators from around the area who want to see a, a matchup yeah. between yeah. very good basketball right. teams I, so we've I've got Couple squads on the floor ready to play. Yeah, I see some hats from Elida, from Bath, yeah. from LC City, Miller City. City. Yeah. yeah, there's everybody, man. There's here to say one of the 
top games in the area. So here we go. Tip off one by the Spartans. Amari Addy will work to his left and hand off to Brandon Moore. Throws right to Jaquel Cotton. Guarded by Colin White. Thrown left once more to Omari Addy in the far corner. Hutchins catches the pass off the screen. Back to Addy. And he'll bring it back out to the high left point. Titans in that tight man-to-man -man defense in this first possession. Addy will point out on the spot of the floor. He wants Hutchins to set the screen. Tries to cross over to the defender. Nearly stolen away by Erford. And the Spartans will hold the basketball for the first 40 seconds of the contest. And the Titans doing a good job of not letting him penetrate. Cotton's first three nearly all the way down. Goes out of bounds off the fingertips of Theo Mag. It'll stay with the, the Spartans. That was halfway down and popped out. And the Titans got to come away with that. They played defense for 45 seconds. They got to come away with that rebound. Mosley with his back to the basket. Lost the handle, stolen away by Colin White. White averaging 20 points a contest, several Division I offers. Got his 1,000th career point last night. Mr. Junior. Erford in the near corner, working against Addy. Bounces to White, top of the key to Theo Mack. Thought about taking his first three of the season, and he's called for the charge. So Try to do too much, and you know, they, get, they're no, they know he's not going to shoot that three, but. I don't think uh, Coach McLaughlin likes that call. So the Spartans still looking for the first point on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Addy gets a screen from Mosley. Brandon Moore on the right wing trying to get it to Mosley. Good job by Hunter Stexley to, you know, when you switch, you got a center and your point guard switch in, and Hunter's doing a heck of a job down there on Mosley, who wants that ball down the low yeah. post, a 6'4 senior. And that, you know, he is. He's kind of a specimen down there. No, and Hunter, he Hunter did a good together. job on him. Yes, he is. So still scoreless, a minute 15 in. Hutchins catches the inbound. Working against White to the right block. Finds Mosley, teardrop floater, no. Mag pulls down the rebound for OG. Erford quickly up the floor. Takes to his right, bounces to Mag, working against Mosley. In the lane, double teamed, right hand hook shot is dropped in. Theo Mag has the first bucket for OG. Brandon Moore will put up the contested three after the pump fake. Missed it. Erford the board. Titans want to run. White guarded by Addy. Gets a screen. Erford rises and fires. Bang! So a quick 5 nothing lead for the Titans. Good penetration and kickback. You know, sometimes the Titans, they don't get enough credit how selfishly they uh, take care of. They get the extra guy on the pass, I'm what I'm saying. Stolen away. OG comes back the other way. Erford blocked from behind by Mosley. Brandon Moore will bring it up the floor. And he'll go straight to the window. Brandon Moore gets Lima Senior on the out, ultimate outdoor Ohio scoreboard. They, they do such a good job protecting the rim. Colin oh. White takes a tough shot there. He'll stay with the Titans. After White got to that right side, threw up that tough angle shot. Erford will throw in to Theo Mang in this near corner. Hunter Stack Schulte works to the short corner. Mag wide open at the left elbow. Spins in the lane, leans, and left it off the front iron. Adding the rebound for Lima Sr. Cotton, corner three, bang. Good shot. Good. Good penetration and kick. Tie this one up. We are all knotted up at five. Five minutes to go here in this first quarter. Ball nearly stolen away by Amariati. Stack Schulte works to the top of the key. White. Great pass in the near corner to Caden Erford for three. Left it off the front iron. Nice and White's right there for the board. And his first basket of the evening gives the lead back to the Titans. Addy walks to the top of the key. Bounces Some, to Moore. And sometimes, as a scorer as Colin White is, and he's put many of shots in the basket. A lot of times, you just got to see it go in, and then you catch fire. Yeah. Seven to five, the score. Spartans work around the perimeter. It's Addy between the circles. Tries to create a little bit of room and hands off to Brandon Moore. Double teamed along the sideline. Tries to create a little room for himself to dribble against Stack Schulte. 
Now gets rid of it to Mosley, and we'll give right back to Moore. Spartans patient offensively. So now they'll reset and go once more. Cotton to the top of the key. Thought about the three. So Mariani walks back over to the high left point. He'll rise and fire off the heel of the rim. More the offensive rebound. His put back, no. And somehow, some way, yeah. Anthony Mosley puts it back up and in. All knotted up at seven. A host of players at the scorer's table ready to check in and a foul committed. The second, or the first foul, excuse me, by senior high. So Mariani picks up his first. Yeah. Both teams kind of have kind of morphed their pressure here and it's kind of more of a half court yeah. pressure as right there, but but um, they're more like picking up half court, but it, it's it's not that full court variety that we're used to seeing. The Titans inbound in the backcourt to Steck Schulte. He'll sprint across the timeline and off to Erford. Right back to Steck Schulte, trying to get it to Colin White. Tightly guarded by Amarion Glenn. He checked into the ball game. Steck Schulte to the left elbow, lost his handle on it. White with his back to the basket, double team. Cross court pass to Erford. Bounces to Dave Westrick, and he's fouled. Spartan faithful don't like it, but it's the second foul committed by them here in this first quarter. Hey, Wilson is so quick with his hands to get that one. I thought he got it clean. They lob into White, and it hits every bit of the rim. Couldn't drop home, and a rebound comes down to Glenn. Spartans will push. Cotton straight to the window. No, and a rebound lands in the hands of Hunter Stack Schulte. We'll give the outlet pass to Erford. Colin White on a right wing. Spins. Nice pass. Great dump off to Westrick, and Westrick has his first basket. When he gets in that lane, he just draws so many guys coming yeah. to him, and what a great unselfish play that was. He had three guys, and he's seen Dave Westrick down there in the block wide open. He put it right, right on his numbers, and Dave knows what to do when he gets it that close. White averages just under five assists tonight, so not only puts it in the hoop, gives it to other guys to drop it in. Glenn on the left side to Hutchins. Three, but a moving screen. Yep. Called against the Spartans. That goes against Cotton, his first. Team State Erford sure liked that one. He, to, he heard the whistle, he started clapping because he was trying so hard <laughs> to stay close to Hutchinson, and, and uh, he got that little flare screen, and and he couldn't get there because he was being held, and he was happy that that foul was called. The Titans will go the length of the floor with a two-point lead as we approach two minutes to play here in this first quarter. A stack Schulte goes coast to coast, can't kick, kiss it in. And the rebound comes down to Cotton. Isaiah Wilson quickly up the floor. We'll go straight to the window, trying to lay it up with the left hand. He's fouled, and we'll get our first attempts from the league's famous recipe free throw line tonight. Wilson, a 5'10 sophomore, you see on the Web Insurance Agency instant replay here. Got to the window, got the chicken wing from Levi Underbrink. His first, and Wilson steps to the line. He's a 63% free throw shooter. He's got the first. Titans will bring Seal Mag back on the floor as Dave Westrick will take a seat on the bench. Look at here, the Spartans, they don't have anybody on the foul line. As Wilson misses the second, so it stays a one point advantage for OG. Steck Schulte sprints to the line of senior bench. Gets in the near corner to Erford. He'll put up a corner three, and he got it. Aiden Erford, a pair of three-pointers early in this first quarter. Extends the lead to four. Good screen by Colin White to get him open. You know, you, when you're the best player and you're setting screens and you're making passes, a lot of guys are okay with you maybe taking an extra shot or two when you do things like that. Three ball on away from Cotton off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Titans with that four-point lead. Approaching one minute to go here in this first quarter. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Nearly stolen away by Mosley. Erford, heat check three, and he's hot. He's got three, leads all scorers with nine. 
what happens when sometimes you go for that steal and you can't get there in time and then you're like out of position and that allows the other team has to help up to take your man and that leaves usually a shooter open and Titans are so good of making passing the ball to get the open shooter a shot. Amari Attic will back back out with 45 seconds to play in his opening quarter. Wilson tries to break down White, jump stops at the block, he gives to Cotton. He'll give back to the freshman point guard, Amari Addy. Working against Theo Mag, 5'11 versus 6'7. Addy somehow muscles up that shot and gets it in. Nice little step through to get past. He kind of shot fake and stepped past. 15 10 with 20 seconds to play in a quarter. Titans look to hold for the final shot and the final best shot. Stack Schultz, he lobs to Mag. Great pass. He finds Colin White on the back door. Stack Schultz, he will back out with five. Double teamed to White. He'll have to rise and fire at the horn. Good if it goes. It doesn't. And we've played one quarter of basketball. The Titans lead by five over Lima Senior here on WOSN. Tonight's three-point sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. 15 to 10, the score is the second quarter. Awaits, and really, Ottawa Glandorf, the beneficiary of Caden Erford getting some wide open looks at the three-pointer. He's three for three here and has nine points. Anytime you can get Close yeah. to your season average in the first quarter, things are going pretty well for you. Well, he he, he does benefit a lot of, you know, he, he kind of hangs out that three-point line. They run some sets for him. The last one that they ran, or the second three that he made was a set. He came off it, did a great job of getting his shoulder square, knocked it down. The second one is because a defense got out of, out of uh, position. His first one was basically a penetration and kick to him and he knocked it down, and, and right now I, I got him unofficially three for four, and the, and the Titans do a good job, like I said earlier. They do a good job of giving up a good shot for a better shot, and, yep. and right now that's why they're up five. So the Titans begin a quarter with the basketball. Colin White will bring it across the timeline. Working against Brandon Moore, hands off to Stack Schulte, right back to White. Crosses over, free throw line, back door to Erford. Tries to muscle up a shot, he's fouled. And Caden Erford going to shoot two Lee's Famous Recipe free throws. And, you know, he kind of talked about three points, so, you know, he's been kind of hanging out three-point line. But right now, when you're doing that, every team has to go out there now and honor that, right? they got to yep. play you out that three-point line. And, and Caden did a good job of cutting back door there and, and uh, getting himself uh, maybe a, a, almost a backdoor layup, but he got fouled and puts the first one in. Foul goes against Javion Walton, his first. Erford makes them both as Lima Senior now with four fouls here in this first half. Walton will give to Brandon Moore on the left wing. Gives to Isaiah Wilson. Guarded by Stack Schultz. He poked nice. it loose. Good job Ball's by Hunter. loose, and he'll give it to Erford. One on three, and he has it stolen away. That's a five on four for Senior High if they can keep it in balance. Brandon Moore does. Walton on the right wing, gets in the near corner to Moore. Or excuse me, Wilson. And Amari Addy works between the circles. No park out instructions. Yep. Quincy Simpson will come out, instruct his Spartans on what he'd like to see on this possession. And, and give Coach Simpson credit here. He knows that the Titans are switching all ball screens. So he's putting people in matchups that he likes. So he wants you know, big to big or whoever they're switching on, that's who he wants to guard in his point, job, point guard. So, you know, he's controlling what's going on. Addy with the floater, couldn't drop it in. Titans work the ball. Mag on the left block, double team. How about travel. And he traveled with yeah, it. Yeah, just trying to do too much. You got that tough spot there where you yeah. can't come towards the baseline and you're trying to reverse and get it to somebody where, you know, everybody is where your back is turned and just walk with it. That's a turnover by OG. And you have three guys on you, and Coach McLaughlin's one to hold call. But he's trying to do too much. He's got to catch it, get balance, make a quick move, because he knows double and triple teams coming. Spartans bounce down low to Mosley. Ball's loose, still loose, goes out of bounds, yeah. and it goes to OG. Good hands by Grant Schrader to not kind of knock that one away. Now oh. they're going to change him. 
Now they'll reverse, and I was incorrect. Brandon Moore was the Spartan trying to get the loose basketball. Good job by the officials to get together and correct that call. Marion Glenn will throw it in to the backcourt. It's Addy. Bring it across the timeline, and now the Titans will turn on that defense. Turn on the pressure. Walton holds it. Gives to Addy. Spartans try to isolate yeah. Addy against Mag. Baseline. Bounces back to Walton. Pump takes on the three. Right elbow jumper. Off the mark. Jay Nerford grabs the board. Long outlet pass up ahead. Grant Schrader. Cut, Caden. Caden Erford got the hoop and the foul. Caden Erford with 13 first half points, 13 of OG's 19, and is looking to convert the old fashioned three point play at the least famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, I think Caden, that basket is about as big as this gym right now to him. Everything he's putting in is going in, so. Wholesale subs here yes, by the Spartan. I don't know if Coach. Uh, Simpson's happy with the defensive effort here. I'm not sure. Jagger Hutchins, Anthony Mosley, J.B. on Walton, Jaquel Cotton, and Amari Addy to five on the floor now for senior high. As Erford, the 82% free throw shooter, steps back to the line. He couldn't drop that one in. Rebound to Mosley. Nine-point lead for OG. Addy holds it for just a moment. Cotton on the left wing. Walton wants to get it down low to Mosley. Has to reset. At the left elbow, Hutchins on the left wing. Ball handoff. Spartans not trying to force anything here in his first half. And Titans are doing a good job of getting to the shooters and trying to penetrate and kick the shooters. Titans are doing a good job of closing out and getting the shooters, not allowing them getting any low open looks. Cross-court pass to Cotton in the far corner. He'll kick it back out to the top of the key with five minutes to go here in this first half. Spartans trail by nine. Addy to the window. Scoop shots up and good. He turned that corner and he put in another gear. Kind of somebody got in Theo's way and he went right past him. And White he gets lost the, steal. the handle. White picks up the foul. And that's a... Uh, Frankly, a tough foul to pick up yeah. just because you're falling backwards. There's not a whole lot you can do. He ended up tripping up Amari Addy. And wasn't necessarily a foul. He's trying to commit, just trying to stand up, lost his balance, and ends up tripping a guy. Yeah. And part of that may be a little bit of frustration that he wanted to get a shot up and good hands by Addy to take it away from him. 19 to 12. Spartans will throw to Hutchins. Cotton, trying to drive, instead will rise and fire and drops it in. Nice shot. Kel Cotton, the 6'5", sophomore, five points, cuts the lead to five. Stack Schulte, Ooh, spins and he traveled. I was just going to say he got away with the travel, but as soon as I was going to say it, the <laughs> official blew the whistle. Spartans trying to build a little momentum here, trailing by five with the wholesale changes they made moments ago. Yes. Hunter Steckschulte will take a seat on the bench. A Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Lima Sr. here in the second quarter. And we'll step aside as well. Five-point lead for OG here in the second on WOSN. Timeout tonight brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Five-point lead for OG. Lima Sr. with the basketball out of the timeout. We're on the baseline here instead of the sideline, so <laughs> have to change of plans there for the guys in white. Titans kind of going to a zone here. I think the penetration is kind of was a little bit of a concern for the Titans and not really scared of their outside shooting. Cotton will test that. Splashes in a three. But I think he might be the only one that they need to get to so far tonight. And you heard Coach McLaughlin to get out there and a little late. Cotton makes him pay. Try to get it down low to 
Colin White balls loose, stays with the Titans as Levi Underbrink takes to the top of the key. Hands off, go to the window, and a charge committed by Grant Schrader of OG. I was about ready to say with the official, it, that's a heck of a shot by Grant Schrader to go through <laughs> traffic, kind of weave himself around that. and. Uh, Looks like Hunter Steck Schulte will come back in. Levi Underbrink take a seat. Dave Westrick out. Theo Mann back in the lineup for the Titans. I think the Titans got out of that 2 3 pretty quickly. Amari Addy to Cotton. He'll rise and fire once more for three. Knew he missed it. Got his own offensive rebound. Hutchins just inside the three point line. Drops it in. Hutchins, first basket of the night, ties us at 19 as White gives to Stack Schulte at the top of the key. Schrader gives to Stack Schulte once more. He'll drive right down Main Street, and a block goes against Anthony Mosley there. Alima, or excuse me, yeah, nope, that's yeah, Anthony Mosley. Yeah, yes, there is. So that looks like that's going to send Hunter Stack Schulte to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Get a great look at it here on this yeah. Web Insurance Agency. Instant replay, and you can see Mosley had just got in the air right when contact was made. Yeah, I just think he just was a half step short there on that one. Steck Schulte misses the first, a 90% free throw shooter. And I think Hunter's doing what the Titans need to do because the Spartans, that offense, that defensive pressure, they're coming in you. They're they're like right in you. So what you got to do is you got to square up and you got to attack downhill, make somebody come up and play, and either get to the rim or you got to hit a shooter. First point of the night there for Stack Schulte. Gives the lead back to the Titans at 2019. Three minutes to go here in this first half. Erford nearly poked it away from Manny. Now he's isolated on the right side of the floor. To the block. Finds Hutchins. Extra pass to Cotton. Wide open in the corner for three. No, he's fouled, and he'll have three attempts at the least famous recipe free throw line. Is that going to be on Theo Mag? It'll be his second. If it's yes, him. that is his second. We'll see on the Web Insurance Agency instant replay. A long. Might have, he might be uh, get him acting in, the, in, might be in say, his get, near future. Get him in the thespian class yes, here. Because uh, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, he hits the first free throw attempt from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Cotton a 50% free throw shooter. Got the second as well. And that gives Lima Senior the lead for the first time, I believe. That is correct. 21-20. Cotton with 10 first half points. Average is 9.6, so just like Caden Erford, eclipses the season average. Knew he missed the second, but a lane violation. So he hits two of three there. And the lead remains one for senior high. Titans been a little disjointed here yeah, in this well, second quarter I, I think on a offense. Lot of, a lot of that has to be with the, the pressure that Lima Senior is applying, and now they're kind of they're morphing into some zone look here. White triple teamed on the block and went out of bounds. Again, yeah, a lot of the Titans are trying to do too much with this pressure coming. When somebody gets in the low post, they're sending two or three guys at you, and yeah. what you got to do is you got to get rid, get rid of it, get it back, you know, and trust your teammates are going to get you the ball back and try to instead of putting it on the ground because you put it on the ground, there's two or three guys coming right at you and getting it. Cotton will hold it, gives to Isaiah Wilson at the high left point. A wait for Coach Quincy Simpson to give out more instructions before they move with the basketball as Cotton holds it working against White. Gives to Wilson. Brandon Moore to the right side. Stops. Ooh, might have got away with the travel. Drops it in. He's got four. Lead grows to three for the Spartans. Erford in the near corner. Thought about the three. And he lost it. And goes out of bounds off of him. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Tyson McLaughlin and the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. We've got a break in the action and a break here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. 
23-20 to score. Lima Senior trailed by five as this quarter started. And now the Spartans will call timeout after the official put the basketball down and started the five-second count. And Quincy Simpson calls a 30-second timeout to avoid turning it over and giving it right back to the Titans. Well, the, the official did blow his whistle, and he waited and waited, and finally the, the Spartans were still in the huddle, and he just laid it down. I mean. And really, uh, I, I, how I noticed was Tyson McLaughlin was shouting to his guys, go go guard the basketball, because right. they're going to have to they're going to have to throw it in with almost no time here to think about where they're throwing it. Right. So senior high quickly calls timeout. And we'll, we'll see if that burn of that timeout right. is going to cost him. You know, maybe he might need that in the fourth quarter. We'll see. Lima senior with just three timeouts remaining. We're under two minutes to go here in this first half. 23-20, Spartans with the lead in the basketball. Cotton on the right wing working against White. Gives back to Moore at the top of the key. Behind the back dribble. Cross court pass to Hutchins. Contested three is on the way and good. Hutchins with five. Throws the lead to six. White between the circles. Spins off his defender. Picked up the dribble. And we'll see if it's a travel or a foul. Yeah, one had a jump ball, one's got a foul. I think they're going to report in the foul. It's a foul. I, I know the Spartans are not happy, but, I, you know, they, they are every, – every player for the Titans have the ball. The Spartans, if you can watch here on, on – on, they're putting an arm bar right in the waist. And, and I think the Titans had struggled with this in Akron. They struggled with it a little bit when they played here the first time against um, – Princeton. Princeton, right. It's kind of the same thing. Princeton did the same thing to them. They came up with that arm bar into the into the waist and would not allow the Titans to get past them. And it's causing some problems. Erford gets the offensive rebound there. Great effort there by Dave Westrick to tip it back out to Erford. So White missed the free throw. Erford now fouled, and he'll go to the, uh, I assume the least famous recipe free throw line for two. After that was the front end of the one and one. After the seventh foul committed by the Spartans, Erford will shoot, shoot two. The 6'4 junior, an 82% free throw shooter. Hits the first there. He's got 14 now on the evening. Now he's got 15. And as a coach, you just can't give up those free points. Giving up an offensive rebound on a foul shot. Titans pick up pressure in the backcourt. Spartans get it across the timeline. It's good to see the Titans making this adjustment, right? They, they've been pressing all year, and they kind of played like conservative a little bit, and now they're kind of morphing into more of a half court and see what happens. And right there is Hunter Sexton gets out in the passing lane. Goes up and under yeah, with it, more. but it's tipped right back out. We get a foul committed by Lima Sr. on the rebound attempt. The officials conferring. I don't. I don't know what the punch call is. Maybe it's a push off or. Now we'll get, we'll I'm a it. senior fans are not happy. We'll get the third official in to yeah. talk it over. They uh, must have agreed, and it's going to be a Titans ball out of bounds. I haven't assessed a, or said who the foul is on. I think it might be on Moore, I think, because he's the one of kind of objecting the most. Yeah, I'm not, and Tyson, I don't know. Tyson McLaughlin now asking for what the, what the call was. Clarification. So White inbounds. Throws it deep into the backcourt to Steck Schulte. He'll have to go chase it and throw it into play. He had to reestablish himself. Erford scoops it up with a Good under job by Steck Schulte, knowing that he can't yeah. be the next guy to touch it. He kind of saved it and... Good hustle by Erford to go down there and get that one. Hunter Brink tries to bounce to White, still won by Brandon Moore. It's a race to the hoop the other way, and he lays it in. So the lead is six now for senior high with 30 seconds to go here in his half. Stack Schulte comes to the near sideline. Creates a little space. Spartan faithful in an offensive foul, didn't get it. 
Stack Schulte holds with 20. Pressure on Colin White is if anywhere he's close to the ball, they are all over him, not letting him get it. White doesn't use the screen from Westrich. Westrich double team, lost it, and it's out of bounds off of him. So four seconds to go. And we'll get Amariati back in the ball game for Lyman Sr. as Anthony Mosley will take a seat. So Jaquel Cotton, a 6'5 sophomore, will inbound. See what the Spartans draw up with four. Amariati with three, with two. Top of the key three off the heel. And we play two quarters of basketball. We'll step aside, come back with our Locks Chiropractic halftime adjustment. 28-22, Lima Senior leads the half over OG here on WOSN. Tonight's halftime adjustment brought to you by Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. Here at C Ride and Scott Mag here at Lima Senior High School where the Spartans have a 28-22 lead. And Scott, when you take a look at those halftime adjustments, first for Ottawa Glandorf, they led 15-10 after the first quarter and now see themselves trailing on the scoreboard. What stands out to you that they've got to adjust here in the second half? Well, I, unofficially, I have the Titans forcing two or four turnovers compared to them committing 12. I, you know, we talked to pressure at the pregame, and, and we talked about full court pressure, and Titans want to do it different ways. And I think both teams have kind of backed off that one they normally do. But the Spartans, their pressure in half court has just been locking down the Titans and not allowing them to really run anything offensively. Titans have to do a better job of going either back door, dribbling at somebody, getting better spacing, or, you know, if the guy is on you, you may have to go set some more screens. Maybe they might have to make Colin White more of a screener and then pick and pop type guy because they're running him off screens. But once he catches it, they're sending three guys at him He's got to recognize that, give the ball up, maybe make some cuts, get the ball back. Uh, I, I think the Titans need to, they've kind of also been pounding the ball a lot. They got to pass it, they got to move it. Again, because the Spartans, if you're pounding it, they can see you coming and they're going to bump you, bump you, bump you. They're not calling it, so give the Spartans credit. They're doing exactly what they need to do to force this turnover. And, and I think they, they started playing a lot harder in that second quarter. Second quarter, they, they outscored the Titans 18 to seven. So, uh, you know, 12 turnovers for the Titans, four for the Spartans. That led to some easy breakout baskets. Uh, when, you're, when you are in troubles, you're you know, kind of troubled a little bit scoring the basketball. When you can get turnovers and get out and get easy one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-one layups, that sure helps your offense, doesn't it? It, it does. Uh, Spartans scored just 36 points last night against uh, a good Finley Trojan squad, and they're at 28 here at the halftime break against uh, another very good basketball squad in the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. So the Spartans will inbound into the backcourt. And so Mariani gets the basketball to begin his second half. Spartans working around the perimeter to Addy. Gets to Mosley in the high post. Backdoor pass to Brandon Moore. Tightly guarded. Fires up a shot. Can't get it to go. Great defense from Grant Schrader. And a rebound grabbed by Mag. Titans quickly. Schrader thought about the three. Instead, Stack Schulte has it. Did catch it. I don't think it caught it right to shoot it. He was one two, but he just didn't get it caught. White this time. One on one with Moore. Spins. Good job of him getting the ball up when he recognized the pressure coming. Theo Mag. Had it in a short corner strip, but it goes to White. Wide open in the corner for Schrader. Didn't put it up. Mag at the top of the key, or at the right wing, I should say. Holds. Gives to Stack Schulte. OG patient offensively. Erford, one of the backdoor pass instead, gives to Schrader. White. Theo Mag creates a little room. White rises and fires from the high post. No. Hutchins climbs over everybody to get the rebound for Lima Sr. Moore will hand off to Addy. Good defense by the Spartans. You know, Colin White got a mid-range jumper, but he had a hand in his face and made that shot more difficult. It's Hunter Stexley about getting out there and get a steal. 
Cotton, mid-range jumper is up and good. Give him 12 points for his first basket here in the second half. Kind of goes to, grows to eight. Steck Schulte assertive and drops it in. Titans are going to need more of that. Steck Schulte, if they're going to come on pressure, he needs to get by him. And as we said, kind of in that halftime adjustments, so that he needs to get downhill. Make him pay for coming up and guarding him like that. First made basket by Hunter Steck Schulte tonight. He's got three points after hitting one at the free throw line earlier. Addy, Cotton, guarded by White, throws right to Moore. High ball screen from Mosley. Moore. Swirled it around, couldn't drop it in, wiped the board. Steck Schulte to the middle of the floor, to White, to the window. And a foul committed by Senior High before White let it go. Colin made a great ball fake there to get the guy off him. They kind of jumped on the pass, as you can see, and, and allowed him to get down to the paint. And the, the charge was just a little late, but I think they called it on the grab. I don't know if they yep. called it on the block. I think it was on the grab by uh, Hutchins. So White's first free throw attempt, second free throw attempt, I should say, is up and good. Averages 20.6. He's now at three. I'm a senior, did a good job on him in the first half. Hits them both to get to four. Titans look like they'll pick up in the half court. As Hutchins angles to his right, gives to Moore. Addy with the basketball. You know, the Titans all year have gotten turnovers and steals off their full court pressure, and tonight they're not getting that. Titans switched on the screen. Addy in the high post, leans, scoop shot, no. Theo Mag grabs the board, ball's loose to Colin White. He's hammered by Anthony Mosley, and Mosley knew it, didn't try him to, and held him up. Good sportsmanship there from Anthony Mosley. Gave Colin White a shoulder as he was trying to get a move on, and Colin White, he, he hit the gas. You see on the Web Insurance Agency instant replay, White hit the stop sign, Mosley hit the yeah. gas, and yeah. held him up to say, oh, that's my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, which was interesting uh, during that play, the ball goes out of bounds, off the Titans, goes to a senior high. And the offense kind of arguing. I think they were kind of holding the white there. That kind of, uh, Hunter Stexter was going to throw it out there to get him, and he couldn't get there because I think he was getting held a little bit. I think and Steck Schulte, to whether he's a great actor or not, immediately after the ball left his hand, pointed that it should be OG's ball. Right. So he felt something. Or he's a fantastic actor. He's, Mosley, cross-court pass to Hutchins. Cotton gets his defender in the air. Free throw line, jumper's good. Cotton now with 14, and the lead is six. White, hands off to Schrader. Stack Schulte, bounces to Mag. It's either a jump ball or a, yeah, a jump ball. travel, and they call it a, a jump, a jump ball. ball, so yep. it stays with OG. It just was one of those that it had to be something. He got yeah, in the sure air did. and came right yeah. back down. It has to be something. And then a foul. Yeah, they're going to call Committed hold. by yeah. Brandon Moore or Jaquel Cotton. Oh, it goes I think it's on Moore, I believe. against Moore. Yeah. His second. It, it. Kind of been doing that all night. That's, I think that's what Moore's, Moore's argument was. Inbound to Steck Schulte. Drives to the left block, top of the key to Mag. He'll go to the window, turn around right hand, hook shot, no. Hutchins grabbed the rebound, stepped out of bounds, the official didn't see it. Addy quickly up the floor, Cotton, heat check, off the heel. Erford climbs the ladder and gets the board. Stack Schulte sees Schrader for three in the corner, left it short. Addy throws it back into play. And it's a four on three. Brandon Moore transition three. Got it. <laughs> 35 26, nine point advantage for the Spartans. As Amari Addy picks up his second foul. So 
Addy, the 5'11 freshman, just came out to guard Steck Schulte there and came in pretty high. Yeah. And this aggressive style defense is starting to, you know, the Spartans, these fouls are starting to add up here. They either got to make sure they uh, move their feet a little bit better and they're going to have to spend some time on the bench. They're going to rack up some fouls. Tigers are doing a good job of, you know, like attacking this pressure better than they had. White goes up, oh. but he didn't finish the jam. Ball's loose. Anthony Mosley grabs it. Brandon Moore. Ball ping-pongs around, lands in the hands of Colin White. Long outlet pass up ahead to Erford. Spins, drops it in. It's going to be a mammoth slam. Ball yeah. ends up ping-ponging around, and it leads to a Caden Erford layup. Interesting. I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> Not seen the ball bounce quite like that. <laughs> Both ends, actually. Cotton working Ooh. on Mag. Step back long two off the front iron. Tip back out. The ball rests with Theo Mag, and he'll give to White. Mosley hits the deck. Back up. White throws up a jumper. Hits every bit of the rim and drops in. First time kind of the Titans have won a little mini run here, so let's see if they can uh, keep this up. 35-30. Spartans with the lead in the basketball. Wilson gives to Cotton. It's been hot here in his second half. Moore gives to Mosley. Put up 1-3, and it was a runner at the horn last night on the season, so not exactly a threat to let it fly from behind the arc. Wilson between the circles with two minutes to play in the third quarter. Dangerous pass yeah, nearly Steck's, poked away by Steck Schulte. Steck has been close about three times on that. And one, he's going to get one of these one of these times. Wilson stands left to the center circle with 145 to the lane. Swatted by White. <laughs> 90 seconds in this third quarter. And a moving screen violation by the Titans. Foul on White. White second. That's the first foul committed here in this second half, by the way, by Ottawa Glandorf. Spartans with four. Amari Addy will inbound right in front of the OG bench. To Isaiah Wilson will give right back to Addy. Titans pick up at half court once more. Spartans leading by five. Working around a perimeter, get it to the right block. Brandon Moore bounces back out. Amarion Glenn for three. His first basket of the evening. And a six-foot senior has grown the lead to eight with one minute to go here in this third quarter. Wow, that's uh, some, com some contact there on that ball screen. Stack Schulte on the right wing, trying to get it to White down low. And a foul committed by Brandon Moore, his third. Trying to defend that entry to Colin White. So Erford will throw in. Spartans send Jaquel Cotton back in the game. Brandon Moore will take a seat after picking up that third foul. White, top of the key on Glenn. Crosses over, free throw line jumper off the heel. Long rebound, comes out to the Spartans. Glenn quickly up the floor. He's got a quick five points. And Amarion Glenn has grown, grown the lead to 10. Pass oh. to Theo Mag, hammered. And he'll go to the Lynx Famous Recipe free throw line. Good pass. Again, talking about tacking downhill, right? Somebody's got to help up, and you got to make a pass. See on the web insurance team. by Hunter replay. Stetchley to go downhill. And Theo got it on the arm there as he went to lay it up. Theo Mag, a 78% free throw shooter. Gave him the old announcer, Jenks. <laughs> 39 seconds to go here in his third quarter. Mag, a six foot seven senior. Averages 14 and nine rebounds. Jagger Hutchins. Jagger Hutchins comes into ball game. JV on Walton will step aside for the Spartans.
that gets the second. Titans in a 2-2-1 two, two, uh, press here. That's trying to slow them down, maybe get some turnovers, get some easy baskets. I like this adjustment by Coach McLaughlin and the Titan coach staff. Addy between the circles with 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Nine-point lead for the Spartans working on Grant Schrader. Walks back out near the midcourt stripe with 15. Double-team Glenn on the far sideline. Somehow dribbles out of it. Kicks to the top of the key. Addy with five in the lane. Hutchins wide open for three. Left it off the front iron. Steck Schulte has to let it fly. And we play three quarters. It's a nine-point advantage for Lima Senior. 40-31 after three here on WOSN. Tonight's free throw sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Fourth quarter about to get underway, 40 to 31. Lima Senior with the advantage over Ottawa Glandorf. Titans, the lowest they've scored this year is 52. They're at 31 here is the fourth quarter about to get underway. Where? Lima Senior last night only scored 36 against Finley, and they're up over 40 now. Is this fourth quarter about to get underway? Amari Addy will throw it in for the Spartans. And they'll give it to Wilson. Goes out of bounds. On the we got a tip with that one. Just Steck Schulte's fingertips. If yeah. they'd been an inch longer tonight. Titans might have eight points on easy layups where he's been just there a couple of times and, and hasn't guys been able to steal it. Yeah, I was confused. They had six guys <laughs> on the floor. I'm like, one of these guys has got to come out. Addy gets the inbound and will sprint to the middle of the floor. Trying to clear the right side of the floor. Now we'll come back to the near side and give to Isaiah Wilson. The sophomore throws right to Addy, double teamed. Mosley, top of the key. He'll be pressured, back door to Cotton. He'll give it right back to Mosley, driving a lane. Erford with a block. Erford from behind, yeah. got his hand on it, goes out of bounds. Titans is kind of uh, trapping maybe a uh, first pass and trying to get some easy steals and trying to get them, themselves some points off some turnovers here. Haven't really got many tonight. Credit the Spartans for handling the ball and handling the pressure. Addy just puts it on his right hip for a moment. Mm -hmm. Now the five seconds count starts. He's double teamed at the midcourt stripe, throws it out of bounds off a of mag. It'll stay with the Spartans. He's trapping a little bit in the first part of this quarter is uh, really affecting the Spartans. You notice they're running the offense from the uh, half court circle when it's the second time they've done this. The trainer like kind of goes on, the game's gone, and Jaquel Cotton yeah, has, can't, a, can't has a that. bandage on his right elbow. Yeah, the You'll see there at the top to left corner. Down. Good call by the official. You can't do that. They uh, can't. Mosley did that earlier. He was standing over there, and the, and the trainer was taping him. You can't. You got to either call a timeout, or that person's got to come out. Good job by the official to recognize that. So Cotton will go back to the locker room. And now a foul committed by Colin White on the yeah. inbound. <laughs> that makes the Lima Senior uh, faithful happy. So that's the second foul committed by OG here in the half. Third by White. So the Spartans got a little disjointed here yep. on both sides, on every side, to start this fourth quarter. Now bounce it into Wilson. He'll bring it across the timeline, guarded by Schrader. Gets to the right elbow and hands off to Brandon Moore. Brings White out with him. Moore tries to get past White. Brings it back out to the midcourt stripe. Slip and now White fourth. his fourth foul. Let's see if this is a tough time here for the Titans to see if they're going to uh, 
Leave him in there with a chance of getting his fifth, or are they going to sub him out for a minute here? And yeah, Levi Unterbrink will go yeah, to the scorer's I'm, table. I mean, my guess is they're going to have to take him out for at least a little bit, maybe a minute or two. And Colin didn't like that call, but you know, a lot of times when you swipe behind the officials. Yeah, you got to get, yeah, get the ball out. Otherwise, right. you're, you're going to call that. Titans dangerous pass once more by the Spartans as Erford came out to pressure the ball, and he's called for the foul. Erford second. Titans are trying to up tempo and trying to increase this defensive pressure, and unfortunately for them, they're getting fouls called on them. Spartans make a change. The Marion Glenn comes in the game. Brandon Moore. Well, inbound in the backcourt to Addy. Addy double teamed at the high right point. Gives to Wilson. Gives to the high post and will bring it back out with six and a half to go. I'll tell you what, when Wilson wants to get he has got a nice second gear. He can get by somebody in a hurry. He turn it on. Yes, he, he turns can. that corner. Yeah, he turns that corner and wants to get to the rim. He he gets somewhere and quickly. Oh, all back over back. Yes, sir. Back court violation as Addy made contact there with Grant Schrader. Went yeah. back over the line. Turnover by the Spartans. And the Lima Senior faithful weren't happy, but Grant Schrader's entitled that spot too. And yeah. Addy just bumped off them. Uh, it was a good no call from yeah, either absolutely. of the contact. Steck Schulte bounces to Mag, and, and he traveled with it. I, he, I don't know that he had possession when he gathered no. it. And I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. You've you got to have the ball to actually travel. Try to quiet myself about the <laughs> officiating. It's just been a lot of whistles here in the first two minutes of this fourth quarter. Titans in a 2-2-1 press, and got to be careful. There's two guys back here that they're going to throw over them. Wilson. Lobs to Hutchins. He'll put up the contested three off the heel. Rebound, though, comes to Mosley in the far corner. He'll throw it back into play. Wilson drives. And a foul committed. And Wilson will shoot two free throws from the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Third foul committed by Theo Magasi on the Web Insurance Agency instant replay. Got him on the left elbow. Yeah. Wilson got the first. His second point of the evening makes it 41-31, 10 point lead here for senior high. Wilson a 5-10 sophomore. Got them both. Spartan, or Titans, excuse me, will let it roll. Not the volleyball line. Stack Schulte in a high post. Unterbrink. Erford. Quiet second half after yeah. a big first half. They've been really clamping down, him and White. White got the hoop and a foul. Let's see if this gets him going. You know, it's like I said earlier in the broadcast, sometimes good players, all they got to do is see the ball go through the net, and then they get going. And that's a tough shot for yeah, sure was. him to hit. He knew he had to pull up, and you see on the Web Insurance Agency replay, the right spin and the floater fouled. Now looks to convert the old-fashioned three-point play and does. Trims the lead to eight with five and a half to go. Spartans, Cotton, free throw line jumper, got it. Jaquel Cotton feeling it tonight. He has 16. Yeah. Ultra confident from the but sophomore. Again, that, that press got the Titans what they wanted. They wanted to force a quick shot, and they did. But unfortunately for the Titans, Cotton knocked that one down. White tightly guarded on the left wing. Cross court pass to Erford for three. Got it, and the foul. Caden Erford, the big three to give him 20 points. And he'll convert the new fashion four point play, I guess. <laughs> yeah, try, right. to, try to convert the right, new fashion that's, that's four huge, point play. That's huge for the Titans here. Allows them to score points without the clock moving. And you saw it there on the Web Insurance yeah. Agency score, or instant replay, excuse me. He got hit on the way down. And Erford, the 82% free throw shooter, going back to the line. 
Titan sub Grant Schrader in for Colin White to steal offense or defense here as Erfurt knocks down the foul shot. So he continues to shoot well from the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Lee is cut to six. Stack Schulte nearly poked it out of bounds. Addy bounces to Hutchins. They'll double team him. Oh, it goes to the corner. Got in the corner. Just Ooh. threw it to kind of no man's land. Cotton yeah. tips it back out. What a heck of a athletic play that was. Not trying to catch it and miss it. He just tipped it right to his teammate. Wilson at the top of the key. Mosley holds. Four and a half to go. Tightly guarded by Theo Mag. Timeout called. A Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Lima Sr. They're third. And we'll step aside as well here in the fourth quarter on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts Seamless Spouting. Six point lead for the Spartans. They got the basketball. Jaquel Cotton looking to get it in. And he'll lob to Brandon Moore. Double teamed as he caught it. And he'll dribble out of it. Yeah. Titans will run another guy at him. Ooh. Nearly stolen away by Theo Mag. Hutchins, corner three. No. Moore got the offensive rebound, throws it back to Cotton, gives right back to Moore. Again, Cotton, Titans got what they wanted. Quick shot. Cotton lost it, out of bounds off of him. Steck Schulte comes back in for Unterbrink. Or excuse me, White comes back in for Unterbrink. So Erford will lob into Colin White. The halfway point of this fourth quarter. White with nine. Gives to Mag. To Erford in the far corner for three. Can't hit as it hit every bit of the rim. It was seven-eighths of the way down. Pop back out. A jump ball favors OG. Just ready to say this is a huge possession for the Titans. And the Spartans, too. They get away to escape that Titans get a three there. They're right back in this game with three minutes to go, down three. Yeah, a couple tired Titans that haven't been out much this game. Just got to knock it down. And Erford, nice little run. And oh, the foul. And Erford having himself a game. He's got 23. Got sent to the deck and will go to the least famous recipe free throw line. Take a look at the Web Insurance Agency instant replay. Spins. Got kind of, hit. It's kind of nice when Colin Wright runs by you that everyone has all their attention to Colin White. Good job by Caden just to fake that and get to the rim and hang in the air and, you know, take the contact and score. So the lead is down to four. Third foul committed by Anthony Mosley. A lot of Spartans up there with three fouls. See if that comes into play later on this game. Erford got that one. He's got 24 tonight. So the lead down to three. Brandon Moore in the backcourt. Long cross-court pass to Addy. Cotton feeling it. No. Ball ping-pongs around. Another offensive rebound for Mosley, but he threw it to Hunter Steck Schulte. Got in a tough spot, had to throw it back into play. Steck Schulte, the beneficiary. And the Titans have the opportunity to tie. As Theo Mag goes straight to the window, can't hit, got his own offensive rebound. Out of bounds, they'll say he was stripped, and it's out of bounds off of him. You see the look on Tyson <laughs> McLaughlin's face. Obviously, you know, a slight disagreement with yeah, the official. Yeah, I think so, I think so. Didn't, didn't like that call. Um, and I think he asked, hey, could you, could you please <laughs> consult uh, a fellow official didn't get it. <laughs> Levi poked ooh, out of bounds yeah. by Levi Unterbrink. I thought he was going to get one. He just good job by the Titans to get a trap in the corner, kind of where you want the ball to go. And Levi jumped it, almost got himself a steal. Good recognition there by Unterbrink because now he'll trap again. It's loose in the backcourt. Brandon Moore has it. It's loose once more and a foul committed by Theo Mag, his fourth. His fourth. Yep. At yeah, we talked about fouls piling up for the uh, Lima Senior Spartans. It's kind of piling up for the Titans as well with Mag 4 and, and White 4. 
Six fouls committed by the Titans here in the second half. Next one, we'll see the Titans shoot, or Spartans, excuse me, shooting one and one. Hunter Brink guarding Addy, making him go the length of the floor. The freshman, tightly pressured, gets it across the timeline. Double team, bounces to Moore. Stolen away, nearly stolen away. Erford hit the deck, goes out of Good bounds hustle. off his fingertips. Wow, and you're right, hustle. great hustle. Yeah. Hit the deck twice trying to get that basketball. Yeah, Titan faithful, a lot of them up on their feet. Love that Titan hustle. Great hustle by Erford. Gove to knock that one away. Pops back up and dives and try to get it again. And then Luka Doncic hits, yeah. the, hits the deck to mop up the, the floor where Caden Erford hit the deck. So the Titans <laughs> pressuring in the backcourt here with 2.45 to go. Moore looking to get rid of it. Has nobody. Finally gets it to Cotton. Gives it right back to Moore. And a foul committed by Hunter Steckschulte, just his first. So now, Lima Sr. shooting the front end of the one and one at the least famous recipe free throw line. Brandon Moore is a 48% free throw shooter, the 6'3 senior. At the line, looking to grow the lead for the Spartans with 2.43 to go. Spartans 5 of 8 so far this game. Got the first one. He's got an even 10 points on the evening. Missed the second. And the lead stays at four. How's that? White is just getting, he's got his arm wrapped yep. around him down the end. Same as Erford down the low post. Both those guys are getting guys just all over him. McLaughlin yep. is coming unglued on the sidelines. Erford on the left wing with 220. Picked it up, gave to White, thought about the three. Instead goes to the window. That's a dangerous play on yes. the, with four fouls. Mosley now picked up his fourth oh, foul. Yeah. As we mentioned earlier, those fouls starting to pile up as Colin White will shoot two Lee's famous recipe free throws here. As you saw the pump fake, and four fouls at contact on the block. Gave Mosley his fourth. White can't hit the first. Titans are 11 of 17 so far in this game on the foul shots. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Quincy Simpson. Four-point lead for OG with 2.15 to go here in the fourth quarter on WOSN. Timeout tonight brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Four-point game here in the fourth quarter. Colin White at the free throw line. Shooting the second of a pair of free, fro free throws from the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. White. Big foul shot here for the Titans. Uh, one, if White makes it, gets subbed out. Two, they get it set up in that press and get closer cutting into this deficit. Got that one to go, giving him an even 10 points on the evening. So Hunter Brink comes in for White with those four fouls. Lead down to three. Cotton, long pass to Amarion Glenn. Blocked oh, back from behind from Erford, oh. but he's called for oh. the foul, and he is incensed, as yes. are the Titan faithful. Wow, interesting. We will see if we get a look at it on the Web Insurance Agency instant replay. Take a look at it here, the long baseball pass. Great recover by Erfer to get there. Looks like he had all ball there. I didn't know yeah, he I didn't touch him at all. Oh. So Marion Glenn at the line. Marion Glenn thought he wanted goaltending. He didn't want the foul. He wanted goaltending, and he knocks that one down. Give that young man credit to step up here and knock that foul shot down. He's got six, grows the lead to four. So Glenn's been a bit of a spark plug here for the Spartans in the second half. Four Titans staying on the box. Theo Mann grabs a 
backboard after the missed free throw. Four point lead for senior high, two minutes to go. White on the left wing. Erford nearly had it stolen away. <laughs> Has his back to the basket. Leans, creates a little bit of space and drops it in. Metzger Financial Services time, timeout called by Tyson McLaughlin after the made basket. The lead is now down to two, so 153 to go. And it has turned into quite the physical basketball yeah, game it here. It sure the has. Half. And, you know, give the Titans credit. They're, they're uh, kind of got punched in the mouth that second and third quarter. Yep. I mean, give them credit to battle back here. Uh, we'll see. Like you said, we talked about fouls are, are uh, starting to mount up. You got White with four, Mag with four, and uh, you got Moore with four. You got Mosley, Mosley with, with four. four. Yeah. You got uh, Glenn, I think, has three. Isaiah Addy has Wilson has three. three. Yeah. There's a lot of guys with a lot of fouls that played a lot of minutes. So we'll see going down. There's still a lot of time here with 153 left to go in this ball game. And we mentioned at the start of the fourth quarter, Ottawa Glendorf, the low that they've scored this year is 52, and they're at 44. But under two minutes to go, we'll see whether free throws play a factor in that or not. As the Titans pressure the inbounder, and now they'll turn and let Cotton lob it in. Gets to Addy. Addy in a lane. Picked up the dribble, gives to Cotton. Back to Moore. 1.45 to go. Again, a 46-44 ball game. After the Titans have trailed by as many as 10 here in the second half. <laughs> Raynan, Raynan Moore yeah, looked Tyson at the wants, official and said, oh, what are you yeah, counting for? Yeah, Tyson wants to get up there and start a count here. Moore to the window, drops it in, oh. and a blocking foul goes <laughs> against Caden Erford. <laughs> so Moore now with 12, third foul committed by Erford. Moore has the ability to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if Erford maybe was turned. <laughs> Got it on the shoulder yeah, maybe I, is the I, only <laughs> argument. I don't I, – he, he's over here talking to the officials. That, I'm like, what else can I do? You can the see officials there on the right him, side yeah, of the lane. He's trying to tell him you jumped into him. But from the replay, of it, again, we, we're, we get the luxury of seeing it twice. So Moore, a 61% free throw shooter at the line. Got it. Got 13, and it's a five-point lead once more for Lima Senior. White gives to Erford, the high post. Schrader lobs to Mag, and a foul committed by Brandon Moore, his fifth. Yeah. They just threw White down, I think. So Colin White goes to the free throw line. Levi Utterbrink goes to sub in, and he's got to wait for White. Yeah. So Colin White shooting two free throws from the league's famous recipe free throw line. So we approach one minute to go. That foul's huge. One, because Moore goes out. He has 13 right, points 13 tonight. Points. Second, he's been guarding White a lot and allows the Titans to score without the clock running. And there are those who would say the ball doesn't lie. Yeah. As White misses the first. That, that foul just huge. Gets Moore out of the game and... Right, got the second, giving him 11. So Honor Brink comes back in. Four-point lead for Lima Senior in the basketball. One timeout in their back pocket. Titans with three. Cotton gets it into Addy. Double teamed in a tight spot. Ball's loose. Scooped up. Steck Schulte couldn't drop it in. Ball's loose once more. Scrum on the floor. There's got to be a jump ball or out of a bounds. call of foul. Nope, it's out of yeah. bounds off of the Spartans. The scrum. So it remains a four-point game. Colin White back in the ball game for Honor Brink with now under a minute to go. The ultimate outdoor scoreboard reads 49-45. White lobs into Mag. They get it right back to White in the lane. Hangs Ooh, got foul. And Colin White will shoot two free throws. Foul against Amarion Glenn, his first, which is a odd saying in a game where now yeah. both, both squads right. almost in the double bonus where got it, one guy fouled out already. You see the Web Insurance Agency instant replay. Glenn, yep, got him on the elbow, got him on the wrist there yeah, as well. 
He might have even got him before he touched him. He was bumping him around. White misses the first free throw. So he'll step back to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. And you saw the frustration there after that attempt. So he got that one. Titans have shot 21 foul shots. Made 15. On the other end, the uh, Spartans have sh shot 14, made eight. A lot of foul shots. Inbound to Addy, pressured along that baseline, and a foul committed by Unterbrink. And that will send Lima Senior to the line for two. Got a feeling there's going to be a lot more foul shots in the last 50 seconds. <laughs> the foul actually committed by Steck Schulte. His second. So Moriarty, the freshman at the line. Addy, a 52% free throw shooter. Got the first. He's got five tonight. White back in the game. Trying to make sure he doesn't pick up that fifth foul on defense with 50 seconds exactly remaining. Addy missed the second. Erford goes and chases it down. Oh, might have got away with the walk. <laughs> White thought about the three. Cross court pass to Steck Schulte, wide open for a three. Yes. Off the heel. Erford. Erford trying to get the rebound. Ball still loose. Colin White has it. Theo Mag will go up and jam it down. So the lead cut to two on the dunk by Theo Mag. We'll keep it here after the Metzger Financial Services timeout. Let's see if that gets the crowd into this two. Two Under points. 30. Great hustle at the end. Both teams selling out for that ball. Just popped to the 50-50 the ball. Just went the Titans' way. And they got Mag with an easy basket. The big guy climbed the ladder and stuffed it in. Cuts it to two. Theo's got five now on the night. So plenty to talk about here for the Titans. Trailing by two in the double bonus. Colin White with four fouls, Theo Mack with four fouls. And you got all sorts of things to who you want to foul, who right. you want to be the fouler. I, I think the last four Spartans that have went to the line made the first, missed the second. So, you know, if you, just think if you made all of those, this is a six-point yeah. game, and, you know, they're making one of two, and they're allowing the Titans to stick around. So a two-point ball game here in the fourth quarter. Lima Seniors pulled away at times. Ottawa Glandorf is clawed back into it in this jam-packed crowd here at Lima Senior High School. Cotton with 16 points will inbound. He'll have the length of the baseline if he'd like it. Looking, gets it into Addy. Pressured, gets out of it. Three on two for Senior High. Cotton, Glenn. Gives back to Wilson. Wilson nearly stripped by Erford, his fourth, with 20 seconds remaining. So both teams, rest of the way, be shooting two foul shots. Wilson steps back to the line. Isaiah Wilson, a 63% free throw shooter. Got the first. Got four points, all coming from the free throw line tonight. And he'll step back to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. The Spartans will send their four defenders back to the midcourt stripe, letting Ottawa Landorf have it. Should Wilson miss? He doesn't. 20 seconds remain, down by four. Titans with the basketball. White in the far corner. Gets to Erford. He'll rise and fire for three, short. Caught by Mosley with five seconds. And they'll just throw the ball down the floor. And that'll do it. Senior High grabs a 52-48 victory over the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. The tight one down the stretch. Lima Senior pulls it out. We'll step aside, come back, and put a bow on it. Spartans victorious, 52-48 here on WOSN.
Back here at Senior High, wrapping up a 52-48 victory for the Spartans over the Ottawa Vandorf Titans. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Quincy Simpson. And Coach, uh, wasn't always pretty, but you, you grind out a victory tonight uh, over a good basketball squad. Over a tremendous basketball squad. Um, we did some things differently. I rolled the dice with how we would do some things differently, and it worked in our favor. Absolutely. You didn't necessarily pressure as much as you guys you guys usually do. Is that a, you know, a cognizant thing coming in? You know, I listen to my coaches sometimes at least. And, uh, you know, my, my, my right-hand man, Joe Hutchins, is in my ear about, you know, laying off the pressure and just try to lock in in our half-court defense and make that our pressure um, and just show some grit, show some toughness. Uh, I bought in. Uh, it worked in our favor. Uh, and we're, we're lucky to get out of here with a win. Jaquel Cotton played with a, a lot of confidence tonight, drops in 16 points. Is he just scratching the surface of the, of the player that he can be? Uh, he's going to have a bright future here. Uh, phenomenal player. Uh, going to be a Division One player. Still, his window is wide open, high ceiling. Um, but we're just trying to get him to be a little bit tougher. Uh, understand he has to play hard every possession. Uh, and once he demonstrates that, sky's the limit for him. Well, Quincy, congratulations on the victory. Appreciate your time tonight. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you. That's Coach Quincy Simpson, a Lima senior, grabbing a victory tonight. We'll bring Scott Mag back in now. As uh, Scott, time to name our Sally Hustle Award winner. Lots of lots of options tonight, frankly, but I, I think we're we're in agreement on on who stood out the most. Yeah, Jaquiel Cotton made some big shots. He did a great job playing defense. So he made he made I think it was two of five from threes. He made a lot of mid-range jumpers. He, you know, yeah. they, they were able to beat that Titan pressure, especially that third and fourth quarter, and he hit a lot of mid-range jumpers that allowed, you know, that they neglected, neglected the Titans' uh, pressure there. So Jaquel Cotton, our Stolly Hustle Award winner with his 16 points. And for more WOSN Stolly Hustle Award winners, check out the WOSN YouTube page. That'll do it from us here at Lima Senior. The Spartans victorious tonight, 52-48 for our entire WOSN crew. And Scott Mag, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.